Today, we're diving into something that can really set your website apart, creating a custom domain email with Bluehost. Whether you're running a business, starting a blog, or just wanna look more professional online, having an email like you at yourwebsite.com can make a huge difference. In this video, I'm gonna walk you through the entire process step-by-step, step, and trust me, it's easier than you might think. By the end of this video, you'll have your own custom email up and running, ready to impress your audience. So let's get started. All right, before we jump into the setup, let's talk about why you'd even want a custom domain email in the first first place. If you're still using a generic email address, you might be missing out on some serious credibility. I mean, just think about it. If you're emailing a potential client, customer, or even just trying to make a good first impression, a custom email address like you at yourwebsite.com instantly looks more professional. Plus, with a custom domain email, you're not just limited to one address. You can create multiple emails for different purposes. This flexibility allows you to organize your communications better and keep things looking polished and consistent. And the best part, if you're using Bluehost for your website hosting, setting up a custom email is included at no extra cost. Let's kick things off by either logging into your Bluehost account or getting started if you're new to Bluehost. If you don't have an account yet, now is a great time to sign up. At the time of recording, Bluehost is currently offering a special discount where you can get started for just $1.99 per month, down from the regular price of $7.99 per month. Plus, you'll get a free domain for the first year, a free SSL certificate, and 24-7 expert support. Here's a link to get started. It'll bring you to this page right here. So when you go ahead, and click on the link down below in the description, it's gonna bring you to this page right here where you can choose from one of Bluehost's four plans. For most of you watching this, if you're just getting started, the basic plan is going to be more than enough. You can create 10 websites on this hosting plan, it comes with 10 gigabytes of SSD storage, it supports 100 concurrent visitors, and it's ideal for about 40,000 visits per month. Again, you're gonna get that free domain for the first year, as well as the professional email, which we'll show you how to set up here in just a second, and much more. Again, link down in the description to get started. Started. So once you go ahead and create your account and you're logged in, this is what you will be greeted with at your dashboard, which is essentially the control center for everything related to your website. This is where you can manage your domains, emails, website files, and more. Now, if you haven't connected your domain to your hosting plan yet, that's the first thing that you'll need to do. This step is crucial because your email needs to be tied to a specific domain. To do this, head over to the domain section on the left-hand side of your dashboard. Here, you'll see a list of all the domains that you've registered with Bluehost. Select the domain that you wanna use for your custom email and make sure that it's connected to your hosting. With your domain set up, the next step is to navigate to the email section where you'll create your custom email addresses. Now there's a couple of ways to get there, but I'll show you the easiest and most direct route. So from your dashboard, we're just gonna come over here on the left-hand side where it says email and office. And we're gonna click on cPanel email. Next, we're just gonna make sure that email accounts is selected and we're gonna go ahead and click continue. Okay, so now that we are in the email accounts area, it's it's time to get to the fun part, creating your custom email address. In the email account section, you'll see a button that says create. So go ahead and click on that. Now, the first thing that you'll need to do is select the domain that you wanna use from a drop down menu. And if you've connected your domain, as we discussed earlier, it should show up here. Select the appropriate domain, and then it's time to choose your email address. So this is where you can get creative or keep it simple. Think about how you want your brand to be represented in your email communication. For example, if your domain is yourwebsite.com, you might wanna create something like info info at yourwebsite.com, support at yourwebsite.com, or even your name at whatyourwebsite.com. The name that you choose will appear before the at symbol in your email address. So for this example, we'll go ahead and just call this example. One great thing about creating a custom domain email is that you don't have to worry about your preferred email name being taken because it's tied to your unique domain. You have complete control. Once you've decided on the name, enter it into the username field, and next up is the password. You wanna choose something strong and secure. After all, this is your business email email, so you want to protect it from any potential security threats. Bluehost offers a password generator if you need help coming up with something secure. Just make sure that you save the password somewhere safe. Before you finalize your new email, Bluehost gives you a few additional settings that you might want to adjust. First up is the storage space. This refers to how much space your email account can use on your hosting plan. If you're planning to use this email heavily, say for customer service or frequent communications, you might want to allocate more storage space. But if it's just for occasional use, then the default setting should work just fine. Next, you'll see an option for plus addressing. This is a neat feature that allows you to automatically sort emails into different folders based on keywords that you add to your email address. For instance, you could use info plus orders at yourwebsite.com to automatically sort orders into a specific folder. If you don't need this feature, you can leave it as is. Now, once you've adjusted the settings to your liking, go ahead and click create. And congratulations, you've just created your custom email address and it's now officially live and ready to use. So again, to access those settings, we'll go ahead and just click on edit settings here 
here. This is where you can go ahead and change your storage space. So you can go ahead and add more storage space. You can select megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, or PB, which I'm actually not sure what that is. But my guess is that it's larger than terabytes. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that your hosting plans comes with a certain amount of storage. So obviously you can't allocate more storage than your hosting plan allows. With your email address created, the next thing that you want to do is access your inbox to start sending and receiving emails. To do this, go back to the email accounts page in your Bluehost dashboard. You'll see your new email address listed there, along with a few options to manage it. To check your email, click check email on the right hand side of the screen. This will open up webmail in a new tab. Bluehost offers several webmail clients to choose from. Roundcube is one of the most popular choices because it has a clean, simple interface that's easy to navigate. If you prefer to access your email through another mail client like Outlook or Apple Mail, Bluehost makes that easy too. Bluehost even offers automatic configuration options for many popular mail clients, which saves you from having to manually input settings. So here in the email account section, we can see our new website that we just created. And to check the mail, we'll go ahead and just click on check email. And that'll open up this new tab here. So again, we'll go ahead and choose round cube. And now here we are in our email inbox where we can go ahead and start sending and receiving emails. To compose a new email, come up here to the top and just click on compose. And now we can go ahead and select who we want to send it to and start writing our email. Now, again, if you don't love this email provider, there are other ways that you can hook it up to something that you are more comfortable with, like Apple Mail and other providers as well. Now that your email is up and running, you might want to explore some additional options, like setting up email forwarding. This is especially handy if you want to consolidate all of your emails into one inbox, like your Gmail account. You'll need to choose the email address that you want to forward from, and then enter the address that you want to forward to, like your name at gmail.com, for example. Once you've set this up, any email sent to your custom domain address will automatically be forwarded to your Gmail, making it easy to manage everything all in one place. Once your custom email is set up, it's important to keep it running smoothly. Regularly check your storage usage, especially if you're using the default settings. If you notice your inbox getting full, you might want to increase your storage allocation or regularly clean out old emails. Also keep your passwords secure and change them periodically. And there you have it, a complete guide to creating and managing a custom domain email address with Bluehost. As you can see, it's a straightforward process that adds a lot of professionalism to your online presence. Whether you're using your new email for business, blogging, or personal use, having a custom domain email helps you stand out and makes communication easier and more organized. If you're ready to get started with Bluehost and haven't signed up yet, then we've got a special link for you down in the description below that can get you up to 75% off of your hosting plan, plus a free domain for the first year. It's a great deal and a perfect way to kickstart your website journey. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Here on this channel, we make videos on how to create websites, explore different website builders, discuss domain names, and much more, so be sure to subscribe. Other than that, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.